Hello, my name is Wolverine, and I've decided to make some videos here for YouTube, as well as a channel to go with them. Um, for now, I'm actually going to be trying my hand at a Minecraft Let's Play. So the the whole idea behind this Let's Play here, and the entire you know reason for it, is to go ahead and try and create a mega base. Now, if you're curious about the seed we're going to be playing on, we've got that right here. But uh, as far as this mega base is concerned, you know, this is my goal just because I've never gone out and made a big base before. You know, I've played this game for a couple years now, give or take, and I've never built a pretty huge crazy base. So I think the idea is amazing. And, you know, if you're wondering what a mega base is exactly, um, you know, to quote Green, another YouTuber from who actually plays Minecraft, that he plays on a server called Hermitcraft, and to quote him, he, de he defines our mega bases as excessive scale. You know, I'm going to put a requirement in there that the base is a minimum of 512 blocks by 512 blocks. Uh, that way I'm confident it is mega. And yeah, I've got a lot of ideas swirling around as far as how we're going to make it all happen. And it looks like our world is all loaded here for us. So I'm going to go ahead and do what you do when you start a new world of Minecraft and get things rolling here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be figuring out exactly where I want to get started. Uh, and then I will meet back with you guys once I've got a bit of resources behind me and we can go from there. Alrighty. So I have gone ahead and meandered my way over here. I'm actually wanting to go that way. I like the idea of sticking on the border of these more icy, frozen plains. You know, that way we could get know more biomes more colors in there with our build um, but spawn was just over there I've gone ahead and collected a little bit of wood here and I'm thinking that we oh oh we've got some nice little stone accessible on the surface mm, juicy don't mind if I do oh we got a nice little spider boy he won't hurt us right ow <laughs> Away. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your nest. Die. Ow. Ow. Okay. There we are, and that does seem to be our first achievement, Monster Hunt. There we go. Well, I'm going to go ahead and kill a couple sheep, mine up some stone, get our little first little hole in the wall dug out, and I'll see you guys at the start of day two with a couple resources uh, behind me once again. We're back. So it is day two. I've gone ahead and just mined myself a little hole in the wall. Stuck a bit in there, you know, the usual. Now, we came from that direction. That direction is spawn. That's where that overhang was that we got our first stone, if you can't see in the distance there. But uh, the reason I wanted to show you guys uh, day two was just because I saw this area over here. And I think it's absolutely perfect for what we need and want. You know, we've got all this variety in the terrain. We've got mountains, heck, lava falls. Uh, we've got oceans, little tiny ponds here or there. A nice bigger pond, forests, nice plains, winter area, and wintry plains. You know, that'll all be nice as far as a mega base is concerned. You know, to stretch out across a, a couple of different biomes. Now, one other thing that I did want to do is get a wolf. Uh, I saw a couple over here. Let's see if we can't find them there. Go ahead and get our first pet. Let's see where they are. Oh, that's a little scary. Okay. But yeah, if I wasn't mistaken, they were just over here, past these trees, past the chickens and the eggs. There we go. There's one. Okay. He don't see me yet. Now, once he looks at me, I'll give him the bone. Come on, you know you want it. There it is. Oh, please. Now! We're going to have to get more bones. I know. I know, you need more. I get it. So, I was just out here collecting a bit of sand, you know, doing the usual. Getting some glass in order. And it appears a tree has generated on a sand block. 
I had no idea that this could happen, and I don't think I've ever seen this. Uh, it's just interesting, you know. I've, I've totally never seen this. Ah, uh, trees, man. You love them. All right. So, it turns out I did get another pro, and I did get our wolf buddy here. Um, there was a pack that was closer to the house. Uh, this is now the third day. Uh, I did leave a little bit of time there in the night for a couple skeletons to spawn. Uh, and then the sun burnt them up, collected their bones, and got our little boy. So, in the meantime, I have also been collecting quite a bit of just little little resources here and there, trying to get started, trying to get some steam under me. But, yeah, right now I'm thinking about getting our very first little house down and set up. And just location-wise, I'm thinking of doing it closer to this body of water. You know, I know I definitely want to incorporate this area into something bigger later. Um, so maybe it might not be the best idea to put down a, some foundations. But got to get started where you can and we can work from there. So I'm going to probably... Ooh, I've got, um, I've got a decent little idea. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and collect a, a thing or two and I'll meet you guys back in a sec. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we are back, and I went ahead and collected the materials I wanted for the idea that I had, mm. and I even got started, if you haven't seen for yourself. Uh, huh? like this guy just showed up. Got a couple coral blocks, mm. and a bucket of puffer. Huh. Pretty useless, but um, I want the leads. Mm. Uh -huh. Yep, that's right, I do uh. want the leads. So how are we going to mm. set this? Huh? Huh? Well, uh, maybe uh -huh. that'll happen off camera. Not exactly looking to traumatize the viewers. <laughs> anyway, uh, the idea I have for this is just a simple little hanging house for our beginner house. So I've gone ahead and thrown some chains up. Now I was thinking maybe throwing a little sign down right there, getting the house down a little lower than the sign, and then going from there. So I got some pillars coming out here, some beams I guess, and some chains coming down. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the roof, and just uh, a little shell, a little box, uh, figure something out, and uh, I'll get back to you. Alright guys, um, so we're back, and I've gone ahead and made a little roof. <laughs> it's very interesting building a hanging building just because... You have to kind of build it backwards. Um, so I've just been working on a roof, and I've gone ahead and got that set up for now. Uh, definitely going to take this part out. Uh, I ran out of space, so that's going to have to be moved. Maybe have it point that way, out the side of the mountain there. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get us a nice little house to go with that roof, and uh, I'll be right back. Okie doke. So I've gone ahead and extended a couple strip logs downwards, and then I've created a nice birch floor. You know, I've actually never done a strip wood floor, but I really like the textures that it's giving off. So that will be permanent. I will definitely be keeping the floor. I like the rest of it, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in these walls, do a couple little decorative items. And then, um, you know, as far as actual utility in a very very first beginning little base. Uh, I may be making just a little pathway out this way. Oh, and if you want to see how those stripped logs are done, uh, let's say you got to get one pointed up like these. You could actually just do it like that. Real easy. Mm -hmm. So, let's get a couple more in and stripped. Yeah, I guess I'll take this out and make a nice little storage room or something. Who knows? But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, wait, let me show you the outside of it. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm liking it a lot. Definitely not finished, though. I'll keep at it. Welcome back. So, I may have um, finished up our little starter house. <laughs> so, here's the end result, guys. 
I mean, what do you guys think? Definitely let me know. It's just a nice little hanging house. Um, you know, as far as some of the little details, got some lanterns. I did name it the birdhouse. Seemed it be fitting. Oh, we got a fun little guy down there. Um, but yeah, this window, I don't know how I feel about the top two pieces of glass there. I'm liking the rest of it, though. And I think overall the build does look pretty good. Uh, right now I'm using this spot just to access it. I will be knocking that down a little bit. But yeah, that's our first little starter house. Just overlooking this whole area. And I do plan on turning this into the mega base. This area right here. Including this mountain and including this little bird cage. But yeah, um, I did also want to say, you know... Um, if you guys have any ideas as far as building, I always want to improve and get better at that. That is partly why I'm doing a mega build, is because I would like to get a lot better at building. Um, I was able to kill two Endermen, by the way. Pretty good. Pretty juicy. But yeah, uh, that will be it for this one, guys. I do want to thank you all so much if you made it to the end of the episode here. Uh, we did quite a bit. You know, we got started. You know, got a couple farms down, I got some trees planted, prettied up the area a little bit, and, you know, more importantly, we did get the starter base started. So, yeah. Ah. Yeah, as far as my plans for that mega base, I do want to say that if you do want to say anything, let me know as far as comment. Leave me a comment in that comment section, and I'll do my best to reply to it and let you know what I think of you. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.